Hello everyone, and I hope this finds you well wherever you are. I'm trying out a new format for something on my channel, and at the moment I'm calling it The Upper Room. It'll be general talking points, apologetics, maybe politics, but I think I'd like to stay away from that. That's That can turn real nasty. I will be playing around with the format, and I'll probably be changing the name at some stage, but for the moment I'm sticking with the upper room. Okay, so I might as well begin with the first episode, and I'm looking at the thing, why do we pray to saints, or indeed why do we even have saints? Well, first off, we don't pray to the saints as such, we ask for their intercession before God. Now it's understandable, if you're not Catholic, that it's a distinction you that might be hard to get. But it's what, if you really believe in the church, believe in the faith, that is how we look at it. We know it is God who answers the prayer. It is not the saint who grants it by his or her own volition. We ask for their intercession as they stand before God, as we understand it. Now, why do we believe in saints, that we believe there are people in heaven? Well, you just have to look at the Bible where Jesus was greeted by Elijah and Moses when he was transfigured. And if there are no saints in heaven, how could those people have been there? Especially Moses. Because Moses was deemed unworthy to enter into Israel, which was an earthly kingdom. And if he was worthy to come back and greet Jesus to be transfigured, then we can believe that he was in heaven. And if he is in heaven, we believe many others can be in heaven. Jesus also said he was that God is God of the living, not the dead. While on earth, you can read in the Bible that the disciples performed miracles. Now, if on their earthly life they can perform miracles, when they asked with intercessory prayers for people who required healing or required something, how much more can someone who now stands before God perform? They'll know God's will. They will bring your prayer to him, asking, Lord, please grant this. Now, God will decide, and it is God's final say. He will not give you something that will be to the detriment of your soul. But those in heaven are pure love. All that is negative and wrong is gone. No evil can enter heaven or enter into God's presence. So that is why we believe that a saint may ask for intercession on your behalf. Why saints stand before God. Now, a second reason we may have saints and why we'll say the church will say that a certain saint, a certain person has been beatified and is now a saint. It is very often as examples to follow. We know that Jesus is the prime example, but, the, but Jesus was perfect. We humans, we were flawed. So we look to people who are now considered saints as example to follow. St. Augustine, for example, 
Lord, make me perfect. Well, not just yet. There was a lot. Of, there are a lot of saints who were, let's just say, not the most upstanding of citizens when he or she was young, but became saintly later in life. And many became the greatest saints of the church. So we look to them, for example. And you can imagine, they have walked through this minefield. This world is a quagmire, full of dangers, shifting sands, and minefields. And the saints have walked through this, so you can follow their path. And where they have fallen, you can see their example. They got up and they changed. And you know you can change, because they did. The church is the rock, the faith in which we stand. It is hard to put a landmine there because it is impossible. It is seen and visible, like it is where all the light shines upon it. So you can see the dangers. It's in this world where you live outside of God's grace, where there is darkness that therein lies the danger. But following the saint's example, following him or her, you may find your way to Jesus. Now it is important to understand that it is always to Jesus we must go. To the Father in heaven, to the gifts and merits of the Holy Spirit. That is the most important thing to understand. That we won't be able to follow the saint's example without God's grace. But we see a visible path to follow. Here is a map to heaven. And there is many ways to heaven as there are people. Each journey is individual. But many journeys are similar. And you can turn back from the pitfalls, from the landmines, if you are wise. And follow the saint's example. Now as I said, you can listen and follow the saints. Or you can put on some music and dance to the world's tune. Now, can you, with all honesty, say you can avoid all landmines while you're completely ignoring God, looking away from him, and doing your own thing? saying, I won't follow maps and I'll ignore the signs of danger. You can avoid those and get still get to heaven. Listen to this for a few seconds and try and imagine yourself walking through a minefield or trying to run across quicksand and see what you think the outcome will be. Give it a go. How would you get on? I think I set off the landmine after about two steps. And I can't even dance. Much to the charging of my poor wife. Now, that's my point. You listen to God, you listen to the stillness of love from God, or you can dance to the shifting sounds of the world. You can follow the saint's example and get to heaven. Or you can go your own way and see how far you get in the jungle. So I hope you in I hope this was helpful. Please let me know what you think of this uh, format in the comments below. I'll probably cover these every topic in this in more detail or I'll revisit at some stage. But I would like to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think, and if you want to suggest a title for these apologetic talks or you know general talk, I'd like you know I would I will give you credit in the description below if I choose your suggestion. So once again, thank you for listening. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. 
I'd really appreciate it if you give this video a like. Um, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much, and hope to see you all soon. God bless.